Hi guys, it's Laura from Mad Mimi's Crochet. And I have two bits of news before I start Finished Object Friday. The good news is last night was the first night that I did not dip down into the lows. Um, yesterday started a new... No, the day before yesterday started a new um, regimen in my medication. Um, I'm off insulin still, and I'm off one of my other medications. So, I didn't dip down into the lows. And it wasn't really high. It was kind of midway, so... Excuse me. We'll see how that goes. We're trying that for a week. I'd much rather be high than low. And um, uh, I'm feeling much more like myself for not dipping so low. So, that is the good news. Bad news is, or sad news, is one of our goats, her name was Taslina, died yesterday. We don't know what from. Um, so it looked like she died peacefully in her sleep. No signs or anything that anything was wrong. And um, her two babies miss her, but um, her babies are way, way old enough to not need her anymore, but it's still sad that they do miss her. So... We are short one goat now. The even sadder part is that it was my grandson's goat. Um, he does still have her two babies, but he did love his Taslina. So, Taslina, I will put a picture, or maybe two or three or twelve, I don't know. I will put a picture below. Tazelina, we miss you and we love you and go play with Emily and Tegan and Siobhan and Christian and Uncle Rick and Aunt Mary Claire and Muffy and Granddaddy. I think that's it. Everybody except your Uncle Blake. There. Okay. Yeah, there's only the two of us left. So, all righty. So, are we ready to get on to finished objects? Alrighty. My first finished object is in my Elego bag made just for me. Yes, indeed. I mean, just look at this. Taslina looked kind of like this goat right here. She was all white. She was the sweetest, sweetest thing. Of course, not as sweet as my Penelope, but that's all right. So, oh, look, Ella made me. How do you like that? Isn't that cool? <laughs> Ella made me a special notions pouch, too. 
she makes all of her bags just just for me so with this project I used uh, what is this a K 6.5 millimeter and this is a clover or more hook as I'm sure many of you know I love love my clovers and I'm using the rest of my Big Twist Rainbow Classic. It is a number five bulky. There are, it is 100% acrylic, 615 yards, and the color is white. Um, I've heard that they've discontinued this. Of course, I haven't been buying yarn, and I'm really hoping they haven't, because this is all the white that I have, and I need at least one or two more, at least two more to make um, my memorial blankets with. I made, oh, I said 40. I might need four more. I don't know. I'm I, I'm gonna hate to have to see if I can find another yarn because this stuff is so so soft and it works up really nicely so here's my one memorial blanket hey 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 girls get out of my yarn oh cats so here is my first memorial blanket I just did a little corner to corner I'm going to make the other ones a little bit bigger so I can kind of fold it maybe like that and then just put like a little button so it can make like a little pocket or something. I don't know. I've seen a couple of different uh, patterns, so I might try them. But this is just simple corner to corner. And it worked out really nicely. So, right now this is what I'm going with because it's quick and I can get a lot of them done. So, this will go back into my whip pile. I actually need to stick this in here. So I can at least get this part into my donation pile. Ooh, speaking of donation piles, I went to my friend Maggie's house. Hi, Maggie. And if Melissa is there, hi, Melissa. It was Melissa, wasn't it? Oh, God, I'm having a brain fart. I feel so bad. Maggie is a member of my angels group. And she found out yesterday that I have a YouTube channel. And she's kind of mad that I didn't tell her. It's all good. It's all good. We're still friends. I'll have to bring her on maybe next week. So you can meet Maggie. She wants to start her own YouTube channel. Right, Maggie? <laughs> Alright, so this is going back into my whip pile, which is down here at my feet. And the next I have is in a bag made just for me right here. Look at those beautiful polar bears and the paw prints. And we all know who made this one. Come on. I know you know it. Victoria. Alaska Crafty Gal Victoria, made just for me. Isn't it beautiful? All right. Oh, and speaking of Nanooks, there's a hockey game tonight. Okay. Not sure if I'm going to go or not, but... Okay, this, I was asked by Austin from Austin's Craft Corner if I would test a pattern for him. And I said, I'd love to. So... Um, I tested the pattern. They're playing chase. Um, number one, I used the wrong yarn. But that's okay, it still came out. 
um, I am going to redo it with a different yarn because I honestly, this was the, the total wrong yarn to do it with. But remember I had that, um, I want to use so many new yarns that I've never used before. That's where I was going with my head. Wrong total choice for this particular item, but it still worked. So, the first yarn I used was this right here. Um, I can't tell you what it is because I don't know. The only thing that I can tell you is that our Joanne used to sell mill-in bags. They don't anymore. And it it's just very depressing because I love the mill-in bags because I could get some of the coolest yarn. Hello? Look at that fuzzy stuff. It's just fuzzing out everywhere. And, of course, there's orange in it. I don't like orange or anything. Okay, so I have no clue what this yarn is. It is super fuzzy, and it was not at all fun to work with, but I used it, and I still have another big clump of it left, so I'm going to try and find something to do with it. It is super, super soft, and um, so have no clue what it is. It's kind of like homespun. But I don't think it's homespun. It's not wound up like homespun. I don't know. I don't buy homespun. Excuse me. Hellspun. Okay. Enough on that one. And I also used... You guys know that I was a Hobium fan. And I am excited that they're back. The bad thing is, though, I'm not buying any more yarn this year. Unless... I absolutely need it to finish a project. And the way it's looking right now, I don't need any yarn to finish a project. Except for the memorial blankets. Because I don't have any more of that. And I, yeah, okay, anyway. So the other yarn I used is Gazal Nordic Lace in this kind of orange color. Super, super soft. It is 48% acrylic, 31% polyamide, and 21% wool. And there were 125 yards. And I used two. Or one and no, I used two and a little bit of this third one. So let's see what I made. This is Austin's design, and it was supposed to have been blocked the other night, but I did not block it. So check out this cool cow. Total wrong yarn to use, but oh, it is super, super warm. And it's super, super beautiful because it has orange in it. So, what it is, is these are granny squares. Right up here, there's three granny squares that are attached. And then the pattern is right here for that. And then there's another three row of granny squares and then the pattern and another three or three granny squares, not three rows, three granny squares and then the pattern. So there's total of nine granny squares and um, I did three sets of the pattern that was with it. So this is my beautiful Austin cowl 
Oh, let me get. Here we go. With granny squares and pattern. It is called the Totally Granny Cowl. It is for sale in his Ravelry store. Um, I'm not sure if he has put it in his Etsy shop yet, but I will put a link below to his channel and to his Ravelry and his Etsy. So you guys can go check out that pattern and get one because you know you want one. Yes, you do. So, I'm going to put these up here before I put these away. And I'll put that in there because I do still have to block it. And I have my blocking boards. They were just right here a second ago. Okay, this is going back into my bag made just for me from Victoria at Crafty Gal Victoria. And I will put a link to her below also after the video is uploaded. Because I'm trying to do all of this on my phone and it's hard to copy and paste in. It's just a pain. Okay, so on to Oh, there it is. Okay. This bag was not made special for me. And it is green. You know who you are. <laughs> it's green. And it says, Creature from the Sass Lagoon. This, of course, is an Aaron Lane bag. And I love my Aaron Lane bags. I love all of my bags for different reasons. So that's why I have my my four, no, yes, five special people that I get my bags from. Or is it four? One, two, four special people that I get my bags from. Okay. So, this is, I was going to say Irma. Her name is not Irma. And just because I said that, I can't think of what her name is. I'll think of it in just a minute. But, I'm adding these to this... <laughs> There's a funny story behind this. This is from Snappy Tots. This is the third pattern that she did this um, month for her, um, I don't know if it's a challenge or a cowl or what. I'm counting it as a cowl. But she's putting out um, a washcloth pattern or something like that every Wednesday. Um, this is, I asked my son what he thought about my new scrubby or my washcloth or whatever. And he said, cute duck. And I said, but it's a penguin. He said, where's the black? And I said, I didn't have any black. He's going, cute duck. So this, although it was supposed to be a penguin, you guys can see that my amigurumi skills are totally not there. And even sewing on pieces like this, i just not good at. But I did it. And I'm going to put this into T. Doddle's um, Scrappy Challenge because I used scraps from my rag rug. So here's that. Now, I also received some wonderful scraps from Shirley in Canada. And I received them to use on my rag rug. But I, I don't think she would mind that um, before I put them onto my rag rug, 
I wanted to make some little facial um, cloths with what I could before they went to my rag rug. Because the rag rug is just for me. And these are going to be going to our battered women's shelter. So these two are going to our battered women's shelter. And these were scraps. Uh, here's one bag the, that still that I thought was big enough to make a little facial cloth out of. The others um, are already in my rag rug. And here's another one of the scraps that she gave me that um, I can still get some of these little facial cloths with. Thank you, Shirley, so much for giving those to me. And I really, really hope you don't mind that I'm using, I don't think you will, using these for facial scrubs to donate and then put the, the what's not able to make one onto my rag rug. So, these two have been made. They're all 100% cotton. And, um, yeah, hey, hey, stop, stop. I'm going to rip your lips off. So, I'm, um, hey, stop, Persephone. Okay, so, these have to go into a Ziploc bag also, and I still have to put the, sew the ends in. Okay. Now, Everybody has been talking about this one ball shawl. And Ella from No Catchy Name, who I am already going to put a link down to her for her wonderful goat bag. Um, well, she has called it the Z shawl. And that's fine because I love me some Z. But... While I was watching the tutorial, or the tutorial, the tutorial, I'm just going to say Marley Bird made me do it. And on top of that, Christy from T Doddles made me do it. I did put a project in here. Not only did I put two projects in here, I put three. Marley Bird, you made me do it. Okay. Marley Bird made me do the first one. Christy made me do a different one, and then I just had fun with the other one. So... Let's start out with this one. This is the one that I did, just for the heck of it. Come here, Persephone. Hey, sweetheart. Where's Persephone? Oh, hold on. Let me get Persephone. Come here, baby. Come here. Where the heck did you go? You know, the time that I want to hold you, you won't come anywhere near me. Okay. We all know the world-famous Persephone, right? Yes. Okay, well. I made her a one-ball cow. Now, doesn't she just look adorable? Look over here. Don't look at don't look at the boy. Look over here. Hey. She's just not cooperating with me. Here. Isn't she adorable in her one ball shawl? Okay. This one I did on my own. She just not looking. There. Isn't that adorable? 
I won't leave her on with it, though, because I don't want her to get hurt or to injure herself. So, yes, that is... No, you're not going to get up there with the boy. That is Persephone's One Ball Shawl, also has been nicknamed the Z Shawl. Okay. Christy made me do this one. This is, oh, before I do that, Persephone's was made with an ice yarn. I had a, a, some scraps from Devin. You're shaking the whole table. You can take that downstairs. Yes. Come up here for something besides cleaning it. Okay, well, you can clean oh, that yeah, somewhere no. else. He's cleaning his guitar. Go figure. He won't ever clean anything else. But All right, so this is some ice yarn scraps that I ordered in a uh, big bag. Actually, I got a whole bunch of big bags like this. So... I'm having fun using the scraps to make silly little things like a one ball cowl for Persephone. Alrighty. I'm not done yet. Okay, so that goes in here. Okay. This one I blame on Christy at T. Doddles. Remember this bag? This glorious goat yoga bag? I had to make one for Penelope. And I found this ancient yarn that I got at a an estate sale. She was selling all the yarn for a dollar a skein. Yeah, I think I got brought home like 10 garbage bags full, and I still didn't even put a dent in what she had. Um, so it is Red Heart Puff. I had never seen this, and of course, you know, it's the colors are oranges. And even way back then, they had a center pull. Because, look, it's pull-out skein. I can do it on either side. So, I'm calling it ancient. It might not be ancient, but the this is falling apart like it's ancient. So, you know, Penelope is brown. So, I had to um, liven her up a little. And she has horns, so I couldn't make it like... Um, I couldn't attach it. So, here is my version of the goat one ball shawl. Otherwise, or cow, yeah, no, this is going to be a shawl. Um, and I just made some ties for it. So I can tie it around her neck. And she can wear it whenever she goes out on her outings. Yes, I'll put it on her. It's going to be in the spring, but I will post pictures. There you go. So there is Penelope the goat's one ball shawl. Well, could probably make Huna one. I can't make Taslina one anymore, but I can make Huna one out of here too. Okay. This one was the T. Doddles, Christy. It's her fault. This one, and I know that Dana and Sandy A and everybody else who's, oh, Madonna, you guys will get a kick out of this one because, once again, it goes along with barnyard yoga. And I blame this one totally, totally on Marley Bird. If you ever watch to the end of her one ball shawl video, 
She herself made a chicken one ball shell. So here is my chicken one ball sh or cowl because it is attached. So my chicken one ball cowl It is made from um, the Mirafil Bella Cotton from Hobium. I don't know when they open if you can get that anymore or not, but I have plenty of it. I'm not buying anymore. And the color is Bosphorus Sunset. And it is um, made in Turkey, 100% cotton. It's a yarn weight number four. And um, it's a beautiful orange, different flavors of orange. Beautiful, beautiful. And it made this beautiful chicken one ball cow. Alrighty. So, those are my whips. Let me know what you guys think of my one ball shawls or cows. One's a cowl and two, two, two are cowls and one's a shawl. But aren't they just the greatest? I can't wait to take pictures this summer with them in it. All right, guys, it's time for me to go. I will have a guest sometime next week. And um, tomorrow I, uh, I might, or I might save that for, for Maggie. We might undo the what I brought home uh, for donations. So, I will talk to you guys later. Have a great day. And uh, I'll see you. Love you guys. Bye-bye.